Hi there, welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how to create these small cactuses with Ferrero Rocher and candy melts. It's a really simple method that can be used like here for dessert cups or even for a cake arrangement. I start with my Ferrero Rocher which I unwrap and have ready depending on however many I need. To help with this project I ready them by inserting a toothpick into them which helps give me stability when dipping and it creates less mess. To coat them I'm using green and yellow Wilton candy melts. I'm using yellow to make the, the colour a bit lighter. I find that the green was a bit too severe for me so by mixing this combination I end up with a good colour. I'm using a piece of styrofoam as a drying rack so once I've dipped in and coated my Ferrero Rocher it can sit on this and dry. I melt the candy melts in the microwave and I mix until smooth and I reheat again if it needs it, if there's any lumps or anything. But as you can see the colour is an, a far nicer tone of green. The next step is to coat the Ferrero Rocher and I do this very carefully by just dipping it in and rotating it through the candy melts. Um, I have a spoon on standby just to coat the underside as well. And then once I've coated it thoroughly, I just give it a swirl and it sort of uh, takes off any excess. I'm going to be doing two coats of this, so I do this one time, allow it to dry in the styrofoam, and then I come back and, and I do another coat. Here I'm going for a second round, and again I'm just dipping it in. It helps to tilt the bowl to the side so that I can kind of get the underside as well. Um, so that's a really neat trick as well. And again, I just uh, swirl it to remo remove any excess. I then put it back on the styrofoam to dry. So here are a few I've done earlier, and this is kind of how they look. They're somewhat smooth, they're a little bumpy here and there, but they still look very nice. The next step is to create the details with white chocolate, which is what I've got here. Um, in order to make it easier, I'm using a toothpick to just kind of create lines from the top to the bottom. I'm just simply scoring the lines, not very uh, hard, um, and this will be a really good guide for me when I start applying my white chocolate dots. I clean away any excess, and as you can see, that they're very faint, but they're, they are visible, that will, so that it's helpful. The next step is with my piping bag, I'm just piping small dots down the, the lines with a little bit of a space. And I do this throughout the whole chocolate. Once the larger dots are finished, I then go over in between with tinier dots. Um, and this just adds a little bit of detail and dimension. Another way of decorating, I've again scored um, the lines onto my Ferrero Rocher and I'm going to be using a piping, a piping bag again and I'm carefully um, going to be drawing lines over the Ferrero Rocher and then dipping it into the sugar that I have and this is just plain sort of uh, granulated sugar. And this just adds a different variation into the design and I think it's a it's nice to change it up a little bit. To top them off, I'm going to be adding these candy melt flowers onto the tops. Um, and I've done this in a previous video, so please do check it out. Um, I'm simply adding them with a little dab of some candy melts, which I had on hand. This is yellow, but you can pick green or white. And I gently stick the flower onto slightly off-centered from the top, so it's um, a little bit onto the side. So this is sort of the result you en end up with and it's, it's a really cute little ball of cactus and it's great for desserts and for toppers. Here I'm putting it onto Oreo cheesecake dessert which I've actually put into these clear plastic slanted containers. Um, 
the recipe for this dessert is on my channel, so please do check it out. Um, I twist out the toothpicks, which come out very easily, and then I place um, the, the cactus into my dessert. It helps that the Oreo that is crushed on top looks like soil, so it, it has a, a really nice look to it. And I'm also garnishing the dessert with some chocolate branches, and I also have a video on this on my channel too. So you can get to try out all these um, ideas with candy melts at home also. And this is kind of the final look. It's a really cute idea you can try out. Um, it's very easy, you can use Ferrero Rocher or if you make cake pops or other desserts, you can um, even do it with brownie balls, but it's a really neat way to make a topper, which is also a dessert. Um, so I hope you liked this video, I hope it was helpful. Um, I know it's been a while, but I hope to be doing some more videos just like this soon. Please be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching.